So for those of you that don't know me, my name is Tana O'Keefe. And um, um, so I don't know how many are on this call. I think I counted about 48 or so looking through the pages, but um, we have 90 women signed up Ooh. for Bible study. And that's pretty amazing. That's a big number, 90. Am I coming across clear? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, we have 90 women. So, um, so we, you, you have the option to pick small group or do the study on your own. And, um, I hope that we've managed to accommodate most people and put them in a small group, whether it's, um, small groups in person or on zoom. We have, um, we have three in-person groups and there's, I think one opening in each daytime group. That's a daytime group. We have four zoom groups and they are all full. Um, as names came in, I tried to add to the full groups as best I could. So they're fuller now. <laughs> um, and then we have many are doing the study on their own. But I just want to say if um, during this, if you are not in a small group and you would really like to be, I will still try to figure something out. If you add it to the chat um, or to email me, um, it might be that we could do a little bit of shuffling, but I need that someone would need to volunteer to host the group on Zoom or in person. And um, we've had quite a few people who are looking for like an evening group after work. So anyway, welcome to all of you. I'm glad you're here. Um, um, I will be sending out weekly reminder emails and the link to the audio talks. Um, if you have an announcement that you would like to share with everybody you can send it to me and i'll you know communicate that for you um but i will i usually send the weekly emails out well it's just when i get around to it but i try to do it you know thursday or whatever but no actually if, the, if it's released on monday yeah i try to do it like thursday friday for the, for the following week um okay so i was supposed to tell you a few things about zoom and um so basically, if you haven't used it before, or um, right now, you, you should have it on gallery view, and then you can see the many faces. And I know on my view, I have to scroll through three pages to see everybody. Um, keep yourself muted, the bottom left-hand corner, there's a mute button. And if you're going to speak to say hi or something, then you can unmute, and then be sure to mute yourself again so that everybody can hear clearly, okay? Um, so Blackmore has a long history of Thursday morning Bible studies and I miss our in-person meetings, you know, the, the teachings, the learning together, the singing, the worship, coffee time, small groups. Um, we've done that for years, 20, 30 years. I'm not even sure how long. Um, but I am thankful that we've been able to gather in this way. But this is our first year of actually having to do all online because of the COVID and, and everything. So um, we're continuing to learn and grow in this, how to do this well, you know, so this is our second semester. Um, and so I appreciate your patience and everything with that. So um, and these are just such unprecedented times that, um, and I really want to recognize the steering committee because these are challenging times and I really appreciate and just sincerely thank everyone who's on the committee. So I would, um, I'm gonna call your names out in just a minute if you're present. I don't know that you're all you know, present, but I did wanna tell you that um, several of our committee members are going to have already stepped down for various understandable reasons or they're going to. So we're gonna have openings next year. Um, um, I do believe Janice is still going to be our curriculum coordinator and there'll be others still on the committee, but we need to get another group of women to come in. And um, it's very important. It's so important for the fellowship at Blacknaw and it's a great committee to be on. It's, I mean, it's a great thing to do. So I would like to um, extend an invitation to you and an encouragement to you that if you have interest in that, if you could pray about it and maybe let me know if you would just like to be on the committee, we can find you, you know, we have small group uh, facilitators. We have, um, you know, Marsh is doing our music now. But anyway, we have several functions, but you can be on the committee. We even have at-large people, okay, that can just come and join and give their input. So please consider that. 
Um, it's very important for next year, next fall. Um, so I'm going to um, just name the, the committee members and um, that have, have been with us and um, just unmute yourself, say hi and wave, and then mute yourself again. And that will bring you to the front of the screen, I guess. Um, okay, so I'm Tana. Um, Carmen Nashlin. I don't know who's on, but is Carmen here? Okay. So. Marsha Bridges. Here, she needs to unmute. Hi, Marsha. Unmute. I'm, can you hear me? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. right. So there's oh, Marsha. Mm -hmm. um, okay, Janice. Hello. Uh, Eileen Sitzinger. Nancy Grigg. Um, Beth Ray. Nadia Lewis. Hi, everyone. Hi, Nadia. Hi. Thank you for joining us. Um, good to see you all. Yeah. Um, Goody. Hello. <laughs> um, Leslie Petrie. Uh oh, she has a um, And a very important person to me is Allie Schoenbelt. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, everyone. She helps with everything and just really bails me out constantly. Hannah, <laughs> Hannah, you forgot me. You forgot me. Donna. Thank you forgot you, Donna. me. I forgot you. Hi. I'm sorry. Yes. Yes. Um, Donna is our women's ministry session person and um so i think that's everybody at least i hope it is and again i just really thank all of you for your service and um i'm going to turn this meeting Wait. over to janice what? Before you do, i didn't hear you say okay. my name you maybe you were telling me to be quiet because carmen was frozen uh <laughs> i'm in charge of music i'm marcia <laughs> this marcia and i will send out a song every week that if someone in your group can share the screen for the YouTube link. It uh, doesn't have too much feedback and you can sing along to at least one song that semi, I hope, fits with what's going on this week. I'll be sending out Holy is the Lord God Almighty this week because we stand and lift up our hands for the joy of the Lord is our strength and we're studying about joy this time. So I'll be sending that out to everybody. Thanks. Thanks, Marge. Okay, well, Janice, you're up. I actually think it's Carmen next. <laughs> oh, Carmen's up. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. All right. And it took my Zoom like is being slow to respond. So it took me a while to get myself off of mute. So uh, can you hear me okay? Thumbs up. Okay. Seems to not. That's good. So we're going to try to do an icebreaker over Zoom. And if you haven't gathered three pieces of paper, they can even be post-it notes or just something to write on, but you need three pieces of paper and a marker. Um, and we're going to play Zoom bingo. And so I realize, so you should have your screen in gallery mode if you don't already. Um, and so obviously everybody kind of like when you play bingo, have different cards, everybody's gallery view, I'm sure looks very different. Um, so I'm gonna ask a question and you're gonna put just a one word or a two word answer if you need to. Um, and if you happen to have bingo, which is, you know, um, however many across vertically, uh, horizontally or diagonally, then unmute yourself and say bingo. So it'd be like the same answer to the question. Um, so, uh, so I guess I'll go ahead and give everybody a moment to write and then I'll say show and then you can put up your papers and see people's answers. And then if you see that you have bingo, then go ahead and say um, bingo. Okay, so our first question is, 
what is the last thing you had to drink? What is the last thing you had to drink? And then once you have it ready, you can go ahead and put it up. Although it's all backwards, that's kind of funny. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. That's right. Let's see. Okay. Oh, that's funny. Let's see. Let's see. Anybody got a bingo? Getting close a couple places. <laughs> we need to spell it backwards. <laughs> I don't know how some people are or aren't. Okay. Any bingos out there? All right, well, we'll try with our next question. I think what I have a bingo. I think Yay! I had one. Oh, I couldn't see. Never mind, JK. I couldn't see that one. It was so close. So close. Awesome. All right, so our next question is, is what room of your house are you in now? What room of your house are you in now? All right, go ahead and show when you have it. Hmm. Let's start yeah, spelling right. these backwards. <laughs> Nobody else is in their basement. <laughs> no, I see a couple basements. All right. Any bingos? Anyways, you can see where everybody is. Okay. So the next one is um, what type of animal was your first pet? What type of animal was your first pet? <laughs> I did it right this time. <laughs> I'm the one ruining the bingo for my line. Let's see. No pets ever, Nadia. I'm changing groups. <laughs> Go to a different screen if you want to. Maybe somebody else has got it. I have bingo. Yay! <laughs> but I can't spell backwards. So this yeah, is I can't figure out how to do that either. <laughs> All right, that's fun. Okay. Um, the next one is who introduced you to Black Nell? So don't like write a name like Becky or Carrie or something like that, but do like a friend, a parent, a neighbor, the internet. So who introduced you to Black Knoll or first brought you to Black Knoll? So try to aim for like a one word answer. Hey, Steve. Allie, I love yours. Oh, yay. <laughs> It's true. <laughs> I remember to I do nobody a black <laughs> Why are some of them backwards? This is so weird. <laughs> uh, I did my uh, S backwards, but I forgot to do the N backwards. <laughs> We're close to, I'm close to having- uh, Almost a bingo. Almost. I see. Yeah, Allie's messes mine up, but that's okay. God's a friend, so we should just say that. <laughs> and Lou's got Google, otherwise I'd have a friend. All right, good. Okay, so the very, um, let's see how we're in town. Uh, so our next question is, um, what book of the Bible do you remember studying when you first started with women's Bible study? So maybe you started 20 years ago and you vaguely remember what it was, um, or maybe this is your first time doing women's Bible study in Philippians is your first. But if you can remember your first or what you think is the first, go ahead and write that down. Um. <laughs> Golly, that was so long ago. I don't even remember. <laughs> Not either. It's, if you can't remember, then put your favorite. <laughs> oh, I love that there's a first timer. Who is that? Yay. Lauren, woohoo! Favorite. Okay. It'd be interesting to see how many books of the Bible total have been done over the That's years. Awesome. 
Mine's complicated. I don't know if anybody was here. I think it was 2008. Margaret and Ann Paulson did one on forgiveness. Oh, and oh yeah. So it wasn't like oh. one book. <laughs> Ken and I are almost a bingo. <laughs> we both <laughs> with question marks. Awesome. And we're in the same group. <laughs> That's awesome. So we can't blame age. <laughs> um, okay, one last one, and then I'll turn it over to Janice. So our last one is: um, What state were you born in? All out of paper. Oh, because I was trying to do front and back. So if you can, that's why I did six questions in three pieces. But if you fold it over somehow. It's quite a variety. The girls out there. That was fun. Read that. Herman, <laughs> Colorado. I know. Oh, yay. Donde esta? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's really fun. Quite a variety. Any bingos? Probably not with that one. All right, Denise, I'll let you take it away. Great. Thank you, Carmen. Thank oh, you. Yeah, that was fun. Um, it is so great to be together, even in this strange way. One of the reasons we wanted to do this is to just remind all of us that there we're still, you're not alone. <laughs> we're all still here and we are journeying together, even in this strange space um, that we find ourselves. So I am so thrilled to see all these faces today. If you haven't turned your camera on, please do so we can see you and uh, just remember that you're not alone in this um, time that we find ourselves. So uh, we are so glad. I can't believe there's 90 women that have uh, signed up, which is great. Um, we're so glad that we're going to be journeying together this uh, winter into spring in the book of Philippians. Um, as I started studying the book of Philippians um, last week, I read an introduction in one of my Bibles, and it had this to say. This is Paul's happiest letter. Before we read it a dozen lines, we begin to feel the joy ourselves. And when you think about it, though, the context of Philippians is that Paul is writing from prison. Uh, he, with the possibility of execution looming, uh, he's been under attack within the church um, by those who are either diluting or countering the gospel. And he's had to like speak to these various teachings that are coming. So he's been under attack in his ministry. And all of this is after 20 years of Paul's really hard travels uh, in the service of Jesus. And so clearly for Paul, the joy that he speaks of in Philippians is not a result of his circumstances. Mm. And I thought, as I sat with this um, the beginning of this week, I thought this feels like a really fitting place to be, at least for me, um, that we are kind of in the midst of a lot of circumstances that don't feel good and that feel hard and have been hard and continue to be hard. And um, that's just, you know, the COVID experience, let alone what your life is holding. Um, and so Philippians, I think, is going to invite us to ask the question, how can we have joy regardless of our circumstances? Mm -hmm. I feel like it's a secret that Paul has grasped that I am, I need right now. I'm longing for. And so um, it's our hope as we journey together this winter into spring that we'll discover joy together uh, as we study Philippians. As the title of our study um, says on the cover, Discovering Joy in Philippians. Mm -hmm. So I am going to go over uh, a few things about our study. At any point, if you have any questions, please type it in the chat. And at the end of the overview and some introductions, I'll look at those or the committee members, whoever needs to address it, and we'll um, answer those questions. But feel free to type it in the chat. Um, OK, so about our study, I think most of us well, I don't know, 90 women, that's a lot of new women. This study, a lot of us um, are familiar with the format. We went through a similar one by the same authors in the fall, Discovering Hope in the Psalms, which was wonderful. And um, 
But for those who are not familiar, the study is broken up. Um, each week is broken up into five days. We will say to you, as we always do, do what feels helpful. Some days you'll be able to feast. You'll be able to take in more of the study. You might get through the whole day that day. Um, some days you'll only be able to snack. You'll only be able to do a little bit. So engage the material that speaks to you and leave the rest. This is always, these study guides are always tools for us um, to sit with this time to sit with Philippians. They're not assignments to be completed. So only use it as it is helpful for you to have time with God in his word. Um, we always want to emphasize that because no study is perfect. Um, I do really love this study. Uh, it invites you into these creative ways of engaging scripture. My goal this semester is to do the coloring pages, um, to have a little bit more creative um, coloring experience of every week has a verse that's illustrated in both bookmark and full page format. But there's lots of suggestions in here. Don't feel like you need to answer every question. Just um, use it as a resource to um, help you further your study with God as you feel led. Um, okay, as far as the schedule, I'm gonna attempt something I've never done on Zoom before. I am going to share my screen. It feels really exciting. Okay. Okay, thumbs up if you can see my screen. Yay, I did it. Um, this is our schedule for the um, spring. It, I, I'm pretty sure Tana has already emailed it to you once and she'll include it in the email that comes out this coming week as we begin. Um, but you can see that there are 11 weeks in our study. Um, uh, there are two small group specials that are included. Those are just spaces for small groups to have time, either if you're in Zoom or in person, to just have more sharing time. It also allows us a little time to catch up if you've gotten a little behind in any of the studies. And then you'll notice that the week of April 5th is a week off for spring break. Um, and we still do have an end of year celebration scheduled, which uh, we have no idea what that's going to look like. It's on our schedule and we're just going to see how life unfolds this spring. So it's on there in some way we hope to celebrate um, moving through the book of Philippians. One of the gifts, I'm going to stop sharing my screen so we can see each other again. One of the gifts of that has come out of this experience of having to do the women's Bible study online, it, it has allowed us to move outside of the Thursday morning format that of the teaching um, that only allowed certain people to participate and certain people to teach. And so it has been just a joy to invite women from Black Knoll to share their gifts and passions for God's word and sharing about it. And so we have a wonderful group of women that have I, I sent out one email and the list got filled. Like it was so exciting. Um, and I'm just really thankful for the women who are offering their time to um, offer, offer a teaching reflection. Um, so as I call your name, if you're here, I think I checked who is here. Um, I'm gonna call your name, just unmute, say hi and wave so you can come to the top of the screen, just so we can see the faces of those who are gonna be offering a teaching reflection this spring. So, uh, Carmen Garrigan. Hi. Lauren Hello. Mulhan. There. Hey, Lauren. Tracy Hoover. Hello. It's Tracy. Uh, Caswara Casali, who I don't think is on here, but she's going to offer a teaching. Donna Muter. Here. Hi. Uh, Leslie Petrie will be offering, but I didn't hear, see her earlier. Um, Alice Whistler. Hi. Yay. Uh, myself, I'll be teaching. And then Ann Paulson and Amy Wisenan are also going to be offering teachings this spring. So um, thank you, ladies, for offering your gifts of wisdom and insight um, to us. 
Those talks are uploaded by Monday. Allie usually gets them up there earlier, but they're definitely there by Monday for you to access on the Women's Bible Study page on the Black Knoll website. Um, I really encourage you to listen to those at some point in the week, uh, especially before your small group, if you're able. Um, but I even had to catch up on a few last um, fall outside of the week it was posted, but they're there. So please utilize those resources of just taking in other people's reflection and what God is speaking to them on these um, passages. If you're in a small group, either Zoom or in person, um, we really do hope you find that time encouraging. I think that was actually one of the highlights of my fall was having a women's Bible study small group. Um, so we hope it's a helpful place to just share what you're learning, find encouragement. Um, as Tana said, if you're not in a group yet, please contact her and we'll try to figure out um, a space for you. But if you're not able to be in a small group, I really encourage you to reach out to another woman. Look at the screen now, flip through the other page. Um, a contact list will be, a participant list will be sent out in one of our um, coming emails and find someone to journey with through the book of Philippians, someone, a conversation partner so that you're not doing it alone. Know that you're not alone. We're here together. So even if you're not able to be in a small group, find at least one other person to sort of have as someone to talk through this study with and pray with. Um, we're gonna introduce our small group leaders really quick. So again, Unmute yourself, say hi, wave, and remute. Jill French. Hi. She is one of our in person small group leaders. Regina Leonard. Which I'm not sure I saw her. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then Donna Muter is our other in person leader. Hi. Thank you, Donna. And then Zoom small group leaders is Goody Bell. Hi. Uh, Joyce Knight, which I'm not sure I saw her, and then also Deb Ebert and Ann Paulson, who aren't able to be here tonight. So we're just really grateful for them um, giving of their time and leadership to allow those of us in small groups to join together and come and just participate in the discussion. Okay, let me see. Were there any questions in the chat? Didn't see any. If you have a question, type it now. It's so wonderful to see your faces. And um, as we close, uh, we are gonna hear from Lou Gagan, um, who's gonna share a bit about her experience participating in the fall women's Bible study, just as an encouragement to us as we begin this spring study. So Lou. Thanks. Um, hi everyone, I'm Lou. Um, my husband, Josh and I have been at Black Knoll um, since 2016. Um, I, we live in Cary, so we're a little bit different in that way. Um, and I'm a fourth year medical student at UNC. Um, so yeah, I wanted to share just a little piece of um, my story from this past year um, and kind of what an incredible um, thing Black Knowles Women's Bible Study has been for me. Um, 2020 brought a lot of changes for all of us. Um, it brought a lot of changes for me too outside of COVID. Um, I left my studies um, as a fourth year medical student. Um, I'm going back, but I left them for a year um, to take care of my first baby girl, um, Violet, who was born in May. So I became a mom, um, which was a lot more change than I thought it was going to be. Um, being a medical student, um, any sort of medical trainee actually can be a really isolating experience. Um, any little bit of free time that you have is always gobbled up by studying. Um, and how can you really argue with the argument of, you know, why wouldn't I spend my extra time studying if I'm going to be taking care of people and having people, people's lives in my hands in the future. Um, so over the last four years, I'd gotten really good at saying no to every single time commitment that came up um, as kind of a survival technique. Um, so 2020, my year away from studies was going to be my year of yes. Um, and I was so excited about Black Knoll Women's Bible Study. That was one of the big things that I was like, finally, I get to do this and I get to say yes to this. Um, and then, of course, as you all know, March happened and COVID happened, um, but also May happened and my baby Violet happened. Um, and suddenly I was 
up all night and surviving on lactation cookies and um, everything was just totally different than what I had expected. Um, I, in my mind, I thought there's no way I could do Bible study. How could I drive all the way to Durham within my new brand new baby girl in the middle of COVID and try to have in-person Bible study? There's just no way. Um, so when I saw the sign up link to have um, Zoom Bible study, I was so excited and um, so encouraged by that. Um, I signed up with Ann Paulson's group. She'd been my um, my prayer buddy during my pregnancy. And so I, that was a familiar name. And I thought, oh, that would be nice. Um, and I didn't really know any of the other names of the people that would be in my group. Um, and the awesome and unexpected thing happened that I ended up being the one millennial in this group of amazingly seasoned Black Knoll veterans, um, as I will call them. And so I see so many of their faces on the call tonight. Um, and these women just became such an amazing source of community for me um, as a new mom and, um, and just in this really weird year where ever, everything is totally turned on its head. Um, so that had just been wonderful. And particularly um, like one lesson that was just um, really stuck out to me um, and one source of love from my group was um, when we were going over Psalm 23. Um, that week, right after we had our, um, our talk that Thursday morning, I think it was that night I got a text message from my sister. Um, she's a couple years older than me. And uh, she had had a ruptured ectopic pregnancy, um, had horrible pain in the middle of the night, had no idea she was pregnant, um, had to go to the emergency room. And after 40 minutes of being in the hospital, um, she was under anesthesia for emergency surgery. Um, and being in medicine makes things worse sometimes because um, you know, I know that that's a that can be a life threatening condition um, if you if it's not caught right away. Um, so that was terrifying um, and heartbreaking too, as it affected her fertility for the future, um, and just such a hard thing to grapple with. Um, also, the loss of that little life too that you know could have been. Um, so I emailed my group about it after I had found out about it, and um, they were just. Uh, amazing, uh, <laughs> the outpouring of love and really turning, um, turning my eyes to God in that time um, was incredible. So I can't believe I'm crying right now. I did not mean to cry. Um, <laughs> I actually wrote out what I was gonna say and then so that I wouldn't cry. But anyway, I'm just so thankful for, um, for Zoom this year. Um, I, I am calling this year the, um, the blessing of Zoom. So <laughs> thank you for listening. Thank you, Lou. Thanks so much for sharing. I never would have thought I'm so, I would hear the words, I'm so thankful for Zoom this year, but I am. I mean, the Lord will use whatever we have. Um, and it's such an encouragement to hear the way that you were blessed by connecting in that over Zoom. Um, it's a shot in the arm to see your faces, friends. Uh, mm -hmm. Can I conclude our time by just reading a few verses from Philippians and praying for our semester? Thank you. So this is Philippians chapter one, verse three and following. I thank my God every time I remember you. In all my prayers for all of you, I always pray with joy because of your partnership in the gospel from the first day until now. Being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. Lord, I praise you for these friends. Lord, thank you for their partnership in the gospel, for the ways that we have believed for one another when we've doubted, for the ways that we've spurred one another on to trust you more by sharing about our own lives, uh, for the forgiveness and patience and kindness that we've offered one another in your name. Lord, thank you for these women. Thank you for those who aren't pictured here tonight. 
And we do pray uh, that you would carry on the good work that you began so many decades ago, uh, mature each one of us, uh, mature our community this we We ask the kind of in Jesus, in his name, amen. Amen. I'd like to have a Thank shout out. Could I have a shout out to, I think, maybe our newest mother on this call, which I think it's incredible. And that would be Taylor Penninger. And just say, wow, you're, you're an inspiration, dear Taylor. <laughs> and welcome, I think, is that baby, that's baby Helen? <laughs> Youngest member of women's Bible study this semester. We won't ask who the oldest Aww. is. <laughs> this is our youngest member right here. Oh. This is baby oh. Helen. And she, and oh gosh. She's like, is she like a week tomorrow? How old is she now? She is a week tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, oh, no. Look at her right now. She's Jake's twin, my husband, Jake Penninger. If anyone does not know who he is, um, <laughs> this is his little twin, so. Oh. I'm really glad to be here. I miss those sleepy days. <laughs> I know. Yeah, that was great. Thank you for sharing your story because it's definitely uh, relevant to me right now. So mm -hmm. there we go. Thank you, everyone. I'm so glad you joined here tonight. And thank you, Lou, for sharing. And we are just praying, know that the committee is praying and um, we can be praying for each other um, and praying towards joy. I'm excited to see how Philippians opens up this understanding that our joy is not founded in our circumstances or what's going on in our life, but in Jesus Christ. So, Amen. Amen. Thanks, so, everybody. That's our meeting. <laughs> Have a great night. Bye. Night. Bye. See you guys. Bye. Good night. Bye, everyone. Bye.